I mean, this is a beautifully designed building. Uh, federal money and local money went into this. At a recent meeting of the Downtown Tucson Partnership, CEO Michael Keith presented examples of private investment downtown, $208 million worth in just the last five years. There's the renovation of Roy Place, Plaza Centro Garage, the Scott Avenue Streetscape, Maynard's Restaurant, the new Unisource Building, and more. Now with the streetcar project well underway, new development on the Four Mile Corridor is ramping up. During a quick tour that began downtown, Keith couldn't be more excited. Yeah, pretty incredible. Pretty incredible indeed. Here and at the top of the, the new central garage, uh, 500 student beds, 20,000 square foot of retail. There'll be two towers behind us right here and another uh, three stories on top of that parking garage. Keith says projects like these are only the beginning. There are seven more restaurants coming to this district in the next 12 to 18 months. The only reason this is happening is because the streetcar knits everything together so beautifully. Linking downtown to the west side, the university on the east, and 4th Avenue, the streetcar is changing what people think when they think downtown. Traditionally, downtown was considered that little half mile block in the central business district. But now with this increasing density, you're seeing a, an urban experience along the entire four mile corridor that's going to look and feel and operate like a downtown. Traveling west, the streetcar will traverse the new Luis Gutierrez Bridge. It's a good vantage point to view more new development. Over here we have the Sentinel Plaza, a beautiful new structure uh, for senior citizens that replaced the Army Park Senior Center. The Mercado building over here with uh, Augustine's and all the different restaurants that have moved in here. And 36 incredible, incredible uh, residences that have come over here in this beautiful Spanish colonial style. This has become one of the premier subdivisions in, in downtown Tucson. And none of this would have been possible without Rio Nuevo. There was substantial investment that the public never sees that makes projects like this possible. And on the east end of downtown near the U of A. This is a 14-story student housing tower that's going up here with, uh, with retail and, and parking. Keith says investment in housing, retail, and businesses within a half mile of the tracks could reach two to four billion dollars. University Medical Center is the easternmost stop for the streetcar. The development potential here is as great as any other place that we've seen. There are a lot of professionals here on campus. A friend of mine actually lives in Mercado. His wife works here and she's going to be able to get up in the morning on the far west side of the freeway, jump on the streetcar, come here for work, come back, stop, shop, and go home again and never get in a car. This is our calling card now as we go forward as a, as a community, as a city. We're going to be able to recruit people to Tucson because of this corridor. We're going to be able to retain our young professionals. We're going to be able to attract new businesses. This is a game changer for Tucson.